Hello you guys, good morning. So it is officially Friday? Friday. It's Friday. Um, so I'm holding baby Lucas. Um, nurse came in. She was like getting his vials and stuff like that for whatever reason. He does not like the nurses. Um, they'll be like messing with him and he just leave me alone type thing it's a little it literally just is like after eight um so i guess i'll also give you guys an update on the situation so as you all are very aware we don't have a damn thing and in order for us to take lucas home we have to have a car seat so yesterday after i made my final decision um the social worker came in and I was kind of like talking to her about it. I was like, hey, you know, since I wasn't planning to take the baby home, um, I don't have a car seat. Um, she said she's gonna go out and get one. I guess the hospital can um, give you like Walmart gift cards to go out and get it. But the one of the social workers that work here, um, they're going out to get one for us. So, yeah, that was nice of them. Um, they also discharged me last night. So technically, me and my mom are patients, or not patients right now, but we're visitors right now. And Lucas is the patient. So, um, yeah, they can't give me any, like, pain medicine or anything like that. I am kind of, like, crampy and gassy today. That's been kind of the usual of how I've been feeling since giving birth. I've just been crampy my stomach's been hurting and you know all that good stuff so i have to wait until a little later um to go really take any medicine i mean like i we probably got tylenol at home or like something i can take just to get by for now but i got prescriptions at the pharmacy i've got to take it's just pain medicine again so recovery has not been that bad even though it's only been um we're going on two days now for um like since delivering i i don't feel great i feel uh, good i guess yeah we have to wait on a car seat in order to take him out of the hospital because you're not allowed to carry him out which i didn't think that would be the case like who carries a baby out of the hospital just like by carrying carrying them i she said something like the nurse came in and was talking about like breakfast um, I'm kind of scared to eat anything big. Like, last night we ordered dinner for the first time. They have, like, a whole menu. And it said chicken tenders on one. And I know for a fact that those were Tyson. I'm going to just say that right now. They had to be Tyson. I mean, like, it's hospital food. What do you expect? It's probably going to be frozen food. But it's just not what I expected. And it was more like, even though it was chicken tenders, it was more like, uh... A big old chicken nugget or like a big chicken patty so I think I'm good on the food just the thought of eating I it just doesn't really spark my mind at the moment what does spark my mind is the lemon sorbet that they have here it's like iced sorbet and oh my god let me tell you guys about that as soon as I came into recovery and I was talking or yeah, I was talking to one of the nurses about, like, what types of, like, treats and desserts and stuff you could get. The lemon sorbet, as soon as she brought it up, it just sounded amazing. And it is the best thing to have after labor. Like, maybe other people have, like, different opinions on that because not everyone's, like, a lemon fan. But if you love lemonade and you love, like, anything that is, like, frozen lemonade, get it. It is the best thing. I think I had, like maybe five while I was here. Um, they actually just ran out, so now they don't have any more, which sucks, but um, it, it's literally just like the best thing ever. I got him to eat a little bit. Mom tried feeding him earlier. He keeps scratching his face. So eventually you're gonna need to get some mittens and look at these long fingers. Let's see if I can get popcorn out. They're just like really long. And then his feet are huge. 
He's got some big feet. You giving me the bird again? He's not very nice. He's not very nice. Look at his hair though. He's definitely gonna have some brown eyes and some dark brown hair, I think, anyways, because Oliver's is really light. So he's gonna have my eyes and my hair and dad's uh, straight hair, probably, since it's not. Well, I mean, like when he was born, his hair was swirly and curly, like around here and stuff. So I don't, I don't really know yet. He just chilling compared to my hand. This is how big he is. So for a six pound baby, I think he's tiny. So, yup. So I actually took a shower like an hour ago. Uh, I've been like cramping, which is normal, obviously. So I thought maybe like a warm shower would help, but of course the water would barely get warm. So there's that. And it was freezing cold in here. As soon as I stepped out, I'm just like, oh, it's warm in here now. We set the temperature to like, what time did you set it to like 74? It was definitely not even like 73 degrees in here earlier. Like it was cold. Like it had to be maybe like 68 or 70 or something. Like it was not, it was not warm at all. He's doing good though. I mean, uh, they're grabbing more formula and stuff for him. So, so far we, came up with two bags of newborn diapers. Don't tell the hospital. Um, we're gonna need it anyways, and they said to take home anything that's given to you for the baby, so. But, um, yeah, like, we legit don't have anything for him. Like, I don't even have diapers. Like, I have wipes, because I use that for Ollie still. So, the only thing I really just don't have right now is diapers for him, so. Yeah, and formula, but um, Wick, provides my formula typically and I don't think he's gonna need anything special. Oliver when he was on formula um, he needed like the pro sensitive because like he was having some eating issues obviously and pro sensitive is like the only thing I found that helped him and I had to buy all that out of pocket like Wick didn't pay for that so well I had to pay for the beginning of it up front and then his formula or his tube company started sending us some so that was nice. So here's a fun fact about Lucas that I didn't tell you guys about. And when I when I say fun fact, I mean like not even fun at all. So when Lucas was born, um, I kind of like left this part out. He was born with two knots in his um, umbilical cord. And so I guess it was a good idea for me to take that castor oil when I did because from what Christina, my doctor, my OB, whatever, what from what she told me is that can actually be really fatal that you have like it, like even one knot in there. So the fact that he had two knots and he was even still like alive and okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So he's kind of like a special baby just because of that. Um, I, get, I guess she said she's never seen one with two knots in it before so I didn't even know that could knot up. I bet you if I was pregnant for any longer, I bet you he would have been born a stillborn. Um, just because like his movements have kind of like decreased a little bit, like I'd still feel him move, but it wasn't as active. So, no, 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 no. We gotta stop scratching the face. We've got to stop scratching your beautiful face. The nurses said not to cut his nails because like, Apparently they're really sensitive right now, so. What's the matter? Uh uh uh. We gotta stop scratching your face. <laughs> He's looking for my boob last night, so that was funny. He is. He's perfect. Oh, don't give me that look. But yeah. Um. So the deal is, the social worker came in around like. Mm, maybe like 10 o'clock maybe like 9 30 ish something like that and um she said that we probably won't be getting out of here till like around two 
um just because the other social worker that's supposed to be going out to go get the car seat still hasn't yet so we're just patiently waiting on him apparently it's a guy typical whenever he decides to do that and comes to drop it off for us and like you know help us out and what's not um we will be leaving yeah i'm gonna try to record oliver's like first reaction first meeting um with his brother on this vlog for you guys just because like i'm not excited for oliver like it's great that he gets to see his brother and he gets to have his brother in his life like i'm excited for oliver like i think he's really going to be impressed <laughs> and just hope like i just hope like it's a good reaction because i don't think he understood when i was pregnant like basically to sum it up when i was pregnant um, he would always point to my belly and he'd always kind of like poke at it and was not I'd say like there's a baby in there There's a baby and so he started lifting up his shirt and like showing his belly off like hey Maybe there's a belly in my a baby in my belly, too. And I'm just like ba Oliver, there's no baby in your belly. I'm sorry. You're you're born a man. You can't have babies So maybe he'll understand now since the baby is out of my stomach but We'll see so little man just got done eating, looks like he's about to start crying, but they brought a car seat for us, and it's pink. So, we're gonna get him all ready to go, and then I think we're gonna just kind of like finish up packing whatever we have left over. And then we will be home. Breaking news, there's been a mix-up in the gender. He's actually a girl. <laughs> I'm kidding. He looks like, I mean, I'm not trying to be that person, but he kind of looks Amish with that. Got him the, he's situated in there though, he's all comfy. We're trying to figure out this, well she is, but this is never the fun part, so it's likely going to take a moment or two, but yeah, he's pretty good in there, I would say. So we're about ready to go, um, he's all tucked in, and then this is what I have left to take. Um, so we're going to stop by at home first, my mom has let the dog out. Oh, okay. We're now in the car. He's right here. So, funny story while coming out of the hospital. Since me and my mom just talked about this. Um, there are two girls that were in the waiting room. And they're like, congratulations, she's beautiful. I just like, oh god, here we go. I gotta paint this car seat a different color because there's no way I'm gonna be able to deal with this. Yeah, we're on our way home. Gotta stop there first. Um, and then, I don't know, you wanna go get Ollie or? I'm not too, I'm not, yeah. I'm not too worried um, about doing what I need to do right now. Maybe next week we can focus more on it. I kinda just wanna chill and just hang out. So he's right here, he's home. Just waiting on mom to get back with Ollie. Give it to him? No. <laughs> Look at baby's mouth. Oh, yes, baby. Look at little baby. 